I just, I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe it's happened to her. She doesn't deserve it. The family doesn't deserve it. I miss her. The service was beautiful. It was just very tender. Very tender. It was nice that the, the minister had, you know, gotten to know about her and, and spoke of her. And uh, as I said, she came into our lives when uh, she was pregnant with Anna and Susan was counseling her and we, we just took her under our wing. And the night that she was giving birth to Anna, we raced over, drove her to the hospital and spent the whole night until Anna was born and we saw Anna being born. It was beautiful. And it's, it's, it's so monstrous. It's, so ashamed. She's 22 years old, a whole life ahead of her. You know, I don't know what went wrong. In my opinion, you know, somewhere along the line they worked it out and it sounded like, you know, they were heading into a, a good future with their two children as a family. So I don't know what happened. I don't know. You know, it's it's it so hard did, to understand. There was no uh, no warning, no, no warning no that signals, it would be him if no. it was him, and um, you're shocked. He just showed no signs of anything like that, except that he loved her. That, that, that's what I saw, and he's a very gentle person. So, so we're still in shock about that, yeah, especially. Yeah. I mean, it, it's terrible. She's been a rock through yeah. all this. She's been great with the media. Uh, they've stood, they, they've given us the information that we all need because there's so many of us that, you know, we just couldn't swarm her. So through the media, she spoke to all of us. So thank you to the media for reporting this but today, and keeping us informed. Today she is, she's her strong self. She's yeah. obviously upset, but she's, she's got a real strength in her that's uh, keeping her going.